guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna make a cheat for red velvet cookies. I was gonna say chocolate chip cookies, but red velvet, white chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> um, so um, it is very, very easy to make. I was trying to make a snowman and that heck of didn't work, um, but I did make some regular ones. So you guys are gonna learn a little bit of, um, you know, try and error here in this video. But regardless, they are delicious. My husband loved them. Um, I am gonna make um, homemade um, red velvet cookies without dye because I wanna be able to give this to my daughter. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and thumbs up this video for more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. All right guys, let's grab your ingredients. You're gonna need some white chocolate chips butter, two eggs, vanilla extract, and the cake box. So we are going to go ahead and melt your butter. This is personally how I prefer to melt my butter. I go ahead and cut it into little pieces and I apply it to a nice glass bowl. And then I do boil some water and I apply that right on top of it so it melts gradually. And I always put a little napkin on top of it. And then I go ahead, check it back in about three minutes and then continue to stir until it is completely melted some people did do um not completely melted butter they just use room temperature butter i just liked it better with you know melting it all down all right i am turning on my kitchen aid you don't have to you can use a handheld some people even did it with a whisk and their hands apply the two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract And once that is all completely mixed, you're going to go ahead and add the box cake a little bit at a time. All right, I did switch out the handle since it is going to be more dough-like. And I am scraping the corners to make sure everything is evenly contributed into the batter. This part is completely preference. I added half a cup of white chocolate. Um, a lot of people added one to two cups. It depends on how much chocolate you like. All right, now I am going to go ahead and wrap it in a cling wrap so that it can refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight to harden the dough. And I just wanted to show you guys real life. I have to, you know, obviously wash everything after these videos. Um, so here I am washing the dishes and cleaning everything up. That red was all over the place. That was so much fun. All right, after it was in the refrigerator for actually two to three hours, I actually took half of it and I put the rest to the side. And I applied some powdered sugar to my countertop. You could apply flour, but I didn't want to change the consistency of the actual dough. So I am rolling it up. Keep in mind, it has chocolate chips, so it can't really get that thin because of the chocolate chips. This is where you, um, or okay, you and me are learning that that's not really going to work. Here I am thinking I'm making some snowman cookies, when in reality, it's still technically cake dough, so it is going to get really big and lose its complete shape. But you live and you learn, right? Regardless, they baked for 10 minutes in the oven. And I decided to, you know, let's go ahead and see if we could do something else. I took out the chocolate chips from this other half of the dough. Um, and I am going to go ahead and just flatten it out. My attempt was like, okay, let's go ahead and make the snowman cookies again. Right? Yeah. After about two, I was like, mm, let's stay to original um, style of cookies. And I just did it in little balls. And I applied five um, chocolate chips to the top of that. As you can tell, there is a little bit of still chocolate chips in there. Those were just little bites that I couldn't get out. All right, now it's time to take out the first batch. And as you can see, they're so fluffy <laughs> and cake-like. So 
that's what that looked like. So we're going to continue on with the new badge because I was like, all right, let's see what we could do. So I decided, you know, again, I did two guys. Let's stick to how real cookies are. So I did roll them up into little balls and I applied the chocolates um, right on top of it instead of having it in the dough. Since again, we don't really like chocolate like that, uh, mainly white chocolate. So I just added five and into the oven it went for 10 minutes. And you guys, they came out so pretty. They're classic cookies. So I recommend doing that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was all over the place. But at the end, I do love how the cookies ended up coming out. Even the Wanderee Snowman tasted amazing. And my husband actually loved it. He was like, oh, they're really good. Um, but yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you try this out, let me know down below. If you have any advice or have made these cookies at home, let me know as well. Happy holidays, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.